I'm Fuse Mike Camaracha, and today I'm super excited to be playing around with Gear VR and Gear VR Controller, two devices you don't really see that often on our channel. And I find these devices particularly interesting because Samsung says that the Gear VR boasts the highest number of VR users on the market for any mid-tier device. And at the same token, we don't really have good insight into the number of daily or even weekly active users, which is kind of interesting. So go ahead and comment below if you have a Gear VR and you use it on a daily or weekly basis because I'd love to hear from you. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be building a first-person shooter, which is something everyone loves. And we're going to be using Unity's VR samples in Unity 2017. We're not going to be using VRTK, but Gear VR and Gear VR controller support are supposed to be coming down the pipe. So a huge shout out to them and get excited for that as well. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, I've gone ahead and opened up a fresh Unity project. You can see there's absolutely nothing here. And to get started, you're going to need to go to the asset store and then import in the Oculus integration and then the VR samples, which you can get from Unity. I'll leave the links in the description below so you can go ahead and import those in. So now, once it's finally done importing, you should be able to see VR samples here in your inspector telling you that you now have the sample project and you should have a bunch of different folders here. Specifically for us, we're just going to dive into VR samples. We're going to go to scenes. You have a few scenes here. Uh, specifically, we're going to use the Shooter 180. You can also use the Shooter 360, that's kind of up to you. I personally prefer having everything right in front of me, but personal choice. And once you have it here, you'll see you have an arm, you have a gun, and you have a basic framework for basically spawning targets, destroying them, and a score system. With that set up, we can actually go ahead and just kind of dive into the code. Specifically here, we need to go to our shooting gallery gun. And we'll also need to go to our main camera and this VR eye ray caster. Both of these are what really control where our gun points and shoots. So let's go ahead and open those up. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up the scripts. And if you haven't already, now it might also be a good opportunity to go ahead and attempt to build just that sample project onto the Gear VR. You'll understand kind of the basic premise of like what is shooting and how all those inputs work. We're going to be able to basically use these scripts and then tweak them to get the effects we want to actually use the controller. So that's really going to be the main difference of what we're actually tweaking here. But definitely encourage you to go check it out before that actually happens. Now, these two specific scripts that we're diving into here are the BRI Raycaster and the Shooting Gun Gallery. The gun here basically represents the gun and animating that and moving it around based on our, where our head is moving. For the VR eye ray caster, this is what allows us to uh, interact with UI. It is what's going to allow us to actually find that direction that we want to shoot at. The way this, this whole game is set up is you basically shoot from the eyes, which is since we have the controller, we want to shoot from the gun. That's the big change we're going to make here. Now, to start, let's just go jump into the shooting gallery. So there's a lot of code here to respond to a bunch of different events. Specifically, what we're going to be looking at here is the update method. Now this update you can see here is it's just rotating it based on the local rotation of our head and just pointing in that right direction. Um, you can see there's a lot of code here. Specifically for us, we actually, since we're going to be using our rotation of our controller, where you can just go ahead and, un and comment out actually all of those methods there. Uh, let's go ahead and keep the position the same as it is, but for the rotation, instead of doing it based on the head, we want to do this based on our hand. Now, unfortunately, the current VR samples does not work with the VR controller and OVR, so we're going to have to add this code in ourselves. Luckily for us, in the Oculus documentation, there is a simple line of code that we can use to go ahead and get the rotation of our current controller. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I've gone ahead and copied the code from the Oculus documentation and this is really all we need to actually get the rotation out of the controller. Now instead of here going and using the head rotation, let's go ahead and just add in our final rotation and this is what's going to allow our controller to move just based on where our controller is pointed. Super easy and super intuitive. So that pretty much wraps up our changes to update. We'll be revisiting the script in just a bit. But now on to VR iRay Caster. Now with VR iRay Caster, what we want to do is go to our 
I raycast function. What this does is when we tap, we're going to basically do a raycast from our eyes out into the scene to see what we hit. Now, because again, we have the controller, we want to do this from not our eyes, but the controller's position itself in the scene. To do that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually, so you'll see here that it creates a ray based on the camera position and forward. We wanna do that from the gun. So let's go ahead and create a method within our gun script to actually do that. So let's just public ray. All right, so with that method, we just basically create a gun ray from the position of our M gun end dot position and forward. Now, if we go back into Unity, what we'll see here is on our gun, we have this, we basically have a reference to the gun end, which is something that's a little right in front of the gun. The reason you do this is you don't want to actually collide any bullets with your actual gun colliders. So this is just a way to offset it in such a way that you avoid that. So just keep that in mind for this is where we're firing from. Now going back to our script here, we have this. Now we just need a reference to that within our iRaycaster. Let's go ahead and just copy one of these fields here, add it up here. This is our shooting gallery, shooting gallery gun. All right, so we just created a public reference. We're gonna be setting this in the inspector in just a little bit, but now we have a reference to our ray. Now if we go back down here, instead of this ray here, let's just comment that out and say ray equals my gun dot get gun ray. Now this gets a ray from our gun forward into the scene. So now we're shooting instead of from our eyes, we're shooting from the position of that gun end point. All right, so now jump it back into Unity. We'll just go to our main camera. You'll see on our BRI Raycaster, we now have a reference to our gun. You can just go ahead and drag our shooting weapon onto here. And that concludes all the script changes we need to do. Now. In Unity itself, we now actually have to enable our actual OBR controller. All right, so to actually enable our camera for Oculus support, we want to need to make sure we go to our build settings, go to player settings, and we need this to be Oculus. The other thing to do, and this is just good for practice, is making sure you go to your prefabs, make sure that you have all the scripts that are on these prefabs. Currently, because we're using VR samples, we don't have any. So we're gonna make sure that we have OVR camera rig and OVR manager both on our main camera. And this is our main camera here. So let's just go to add script. Here, going to go and add a OVR camera rig. And just set those to the defaults. And then we also need an OVR manager. Again, setting those to the defaults is fine. So the last thing before we need to build, and you need to do this with any Gear VR application, is go to your uh, plugins, Android, assets, here. You'll need to create an OSIG file. So now what an OSIG file is, is basically from your device. Your device has a specific device ID. You need to provide that to the Oculus, and they'll generate what is called an OSIG file which basically allows your uh, application to run on the Gear VR. So you'll need to go to the developer site for Oculus, put a link to that in the description as well. So uh, I've gone ahead and done that. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that in. You can see here um, in your file, you'll also have the device ID there. You can put as many OSIG files as you want. So if your friend has a device you wanna test on, you can put their OSIG in here. You can put another friend's. It'll work for all of them. So just make sure that's in here. When you actually go to, to do a deploy to the to actual publisher site, you won't need them, but this is just something good to keep in mind. The last step here is just going to our build settings. We are we chose our 180, so we can actually go ahead and delete the rest. Make sure you switch to Android. That might take a second, so just go ahead and do that. Now, once it's finally gone and switched platforms, go ahead and check your player settings. Make sure that these are all set properly. Again, making sure virtual reality is supported. Um, you can also go ahead and change your package. Change. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change that to PSVR Q2. 
here we are in the video. Um, again, making sure all those settings are the same. I'm going to leave that as it is for now. And just attach your phone and go ahead and hit build and run and check it out. Hopefully you were able to get a build onto your device. If you weren't, definitely leave a comment below and myself or someone in the Fuse VR community will be able to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, definitely make sure to share this with a friend because that helps us out a ton. And that pretty much does it. So this has been Fuse Man, and I'm Sun now.